everybody and welcome to Art Room Studios. My name is Seb and this is Lucian. Hello. And today I'm going to be creating a super cool mashup and all you're going to need is a black pen, marker pen, fine liner pen, felt tip pen, some kind of pen, some colours and a load of creativity. Mashup. Mashup. So guys, let's get drawing. You ready Lucian? I'm ready. Excellent, I'm ready too. Let's do this. Right, so guys, um, we're just going to start off with the pencil just to create some very, very, very basic lines that are going to help us with our picture, okay? You press so lightly with these, um, these pencils um, that you can barely see the line. It's just there to guide you. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work out roughly where the middle of the piece of paper is and then just draw a little, tiny little pencil line um, dot just about there. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to create a grid. Okay, and this grid is going to guide you for um, the whole of this uh, drawing. Okay, so we've got four pieces here. All right, so first thing we're going to do, guys, is we are going to work out where the eye of our character is. All right, so for that, we're going to go straight in with the pen. Now the eye of this character is going to go right in the middle of this section here. Okay, now we're working on A3 paper. I'd say this should be about the size of a small olive. All right, we're gonna do a really lovely oval shape and we're gonna go something like this, okay? So really lovely oval shape. Okay, like so. All right. Excellent. Now we're going to give that a little bit of an eyelid and inside we're just going to do another little black circle. A little bit of reflection. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do something quite interesting. We're going to take a line that goes like this and then goes out and around and down and finishes up there, okay? So if you see that motion again, so we start here, we go out, around, down and up, and it links back up that line, okay? That's it, Lucian, brilliant. That's it, and bring it back up again, perfect, okay? Now let's give that guy some teeth. So we're just gonna draw a line underneath, like so, We'll do another line at the bottom, like so. And then we can cover this piece in, okay? Nice and carefully. Um, if you're using a fine liner pen, you might just want to um, pause the video and catch up with this, all right? Fabulous. What a beautiful bit of colouring in you're doing there, Lucien. Absolutely Thanks. amazing. Thank you. No problem at all. Right, the other eye is smaller because it's further away and it's going to sit around here. So you bring that line around and back to the nose. So you bring it around, back in towards the nose. Excellent. Give it another eyelid facing the opposite direction. Okay, beautiful. And then the little eye in the middle like that. So he's looking a little bit panicked. The reason being, he's got someone on his back. Okay. Right, so let's get the head in. Um, He's got some little lumps here. So we're gonna go up like this and we're gonna give him a little kind of humpy bit like that. That's gonna stop just near the eye. Okay, perfect. You can bring that line again round so it touches the eye. Lovely. Now here, he's got quite a wide face. So we're gonna bring it around and we're gonna bring it around like that, okay? So we can go into that other side, don't worry about that pencil line, that's just a guide. So bring it around, that's it, good. And around like that. Big cheeks. Fabulous, big cheeks, exactly. And then we're gonna give him a little chin underneath. So a little pointy chin, okay. There we go, there he is, all right. And we can add maybe a line on his cheek here and a line on his cheek there, just to give it just a little bit more structure, fabulous. Now he has got some little feelery antennary things. So we're just gonna go up with one there and up with one like that. Perfect. 
And then we're going to sort of bend it around like this. And he is going to be an ant. That's it, lovely. Get a little bit of detail on there like that, just some little lines. Make sure when you do um, kind of little sh uh, sort of hatching lines on anything which is curved, try and bend them slightly. It just helps to give the, um, whatever you're drawing, a bit more structure. Okay, right. We're gonna bring his neck into this bottom left-hand square. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna come down like this with a line like that. Excellent, Lucian, lovely. And then we are going to do some lines like that. Good stuff. Now, the next shape is the ant's body. But we're gonna have it, uh, we're, gonna, we're actually gonna move into this space here, okay? And what we're gonna do in this space here is we're going to do, um, we're gonna do a circle about there, all right? Awesome, okay. And then what we do is this, so watch carefully. We're gonna go up and down and into the circle and then around and into the circle. So his body kind of comes out of that shape, a little bit like a balloon. That's it, perfect. We're then gonna have his arm coming down. So we're gonna go line, round like that. A little bit like a, a sort of cross between a sausage and a chip. Awesome. And then we're gonna go forward. You can go a little bit wider if you want. Lovely. At the end of it, we're gonna have a little circle. Good stuff. And, and we're gonna have some kind of little sort of fingers, which are just little sort of shapes like this. I mean, obviously we know ants don't have fingers. Uh, at least I don't think they do. Do they have fingers, ants? Mm, I'm not sure. No, I don't think they do. <laughs> That's it. You need like a microscope, really. You need a microscope, indeed. Um, and then we're gonna do the other one. The other one's slightly behind his body. So we're gonna do a similar line again, but it's coming from behind. Perfect. And then we're going to go up. Awesome. And then we're gonna do another little ball. And whatever space you've got, you can do his fingers um, doing anything you like, so um, entirely up to you how you draw his fingers. He's just looking a little bit panicked, this ant, because uh, he's got someone sitting on his back. So let's just make the body a little bit more 3D. We're going to draw some of those lines that bend around, and those lines really help to give the sort of the structure of the body. It just makes it look more cylindrical, that's it. Okay, good stuff. Now, who's he got sitting on his back who he's so shocked about? Okay, so watch really carefully. We're going to go, we're gonna look for that circle that we've done for his body, and we're gonna do this. So watch carefully. We're gonna go up near to that middle line. We're gonna come across, like so. Then gonna go down, like so. That's it, or up indeed. You're then going to watch around the circle. We're gonna go up from the circle up, and then we're gonna go down, and this can get a little bit wider as we go down towards the bottom. Good stuff, okay, a little bit of a skinny leg there, never mind. Then what we do is we draw a line that bends around the base. Good stuff. And then we're gonna have his shoe, and his shoe's just gonna be this kind of shape like this, it's getting bigger because it's quite close to us. So it kind of gets wider as we go down. That's it, lovely work. And then we'll do a, a band going across the top like that. Okay, now we need the, uh, the rest of the ant's body. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow round from here, okay, and then we're going to go behind the leg and we're gonna come across like that, okay? So that's the back of the ant's body. Awesome, love it. Right, let's get a line through that. 
Now it's gonna be much easier later on when you color these in to distinguish between who's on the ant's back and the ant. We just use different colors. Now we need another little leg um, uh, going behind. So we're just gonna go down and uh, like this. So we can see his head is much smaller because it's behind. That's it, perfect Lucian. And then we're going to draw his um, foot, something like that, okay. With a little band on it. Good stuff. Now what we need is the ant's legs. Now the ant's legs are gonna go somewhere in between. Now whatever space we've got, but they're quite close together. So we're gonna go down like this. So two little long stick shapes. To try and get them to meet in the middle. This kind of thing. Okay, that's it. Don't worry about that. And then we're gonna go out and we're gonna go out. So his knees are kind of knocking together. That's it. Good stuff, okay. And then his feet can be, I don't know, this kind of thing. He's wearing some little shoes. There's not many ant shoe shops left in the world, sadly. They tend to make their own shoes these days, ants. Nice, look at those knock knees, brilliant. Okay, so uh, let's go up and see who's sitting on his back. Right, now, we're gonna go up like this, watch very carefully. Um, we're going to do the base of the chin of this character first, okay? Nice little pair of Nikes, love it. Now, the base of the chin, guys, um, uh, is kind of level with the eye here. So just make a little sort of line with your finger just so we know where we're working. And we're gonna begin with a nose. And the nose is going to be like a C shape. So let's work out where we've done that. So it's sort of in the, slightly towards the left. That's it, about there's perfect, that's perfect. Then we're gonna do the moustache. And the moustache goes up and up, and then it kind of, does that kind of thing, okay? That's it. And then some little sort of bumpy bits underneath. Perfect. Your ant's even more shocked because your moustache is so near his face. Oh my goodness. Right, then what we do is, watch carefully, because these are the eyes, these are really important. We're going to go um, an eye shape like, uh, like this. And we're gonna go an eye shape, which is something like that, okay? So pretty similar, that's it, perfect. And then inside, we're just gonna do a little semicircle inside those eyes. Nice work. Now, if you can get your pen to go thin, I'll tell you what, we'll do the hat first. So this is our, I don't know if anybody uh, can see it yet, it is going to be Mario Sonic. So we're gonna do a line up here. Cross. Then we're going to go up, down. Beautiful. And then down and up. Good. And then down and up. And then we'll leave that one there. Okay, we need to do the base of his mask. So it's a little line that links the eye to the left. It's a little line that links the two eyes together. And then it's a line that does this. Now watch, I'll tell you what, we'll do the chin first. We're gonna come down, slight point, and bring it all the way up through that gap and down to the eye. That's it, up there, through the gap, and perfect. Right, eyebrows. Let's just do some eyebrows that are slightly pointing down. So he looks a little bit serious, this character. And then we're gonna do the M. And if you can double it up, even better. Okay. That's it. Remember, if we're using a fat marker pen, use the tip of the pen and you get a nice thin line. Okay. Right. Okay. We're just going to have a little mouth like that. Okay. So a little line going up. That's it. Good stuff. Right. Let's get his dungarees on. Right. Nice and simple here. I'll tell you what, we'll do the, the arm first. Right. So the arm. Um, starts here and goes down and in towards the trousers. That's it. Then we go up, around and up. 
That's it, good stuff. He's wearing dungarees, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a line here that goes round and down towards his belt. Good stuff, we'll have another little line here. Okay, that's it, good stuff. Perfect, okay. Now his, um, we're gonna have a little sort of fist, so we're gonna go down like that, and then just maybe a little finger sort of pointing backwards. We haven't got much space there for any of you. That's it, something like that's great. Okay, and then if you've got a little bit of space there, you can do so that. The base of his, um, his dungarees comes down like this and like this. Dungarees, what incredible things they are. Right, and then to, we're gonna go round the armpit and up to form the edge of the dungarees, okay. That's it, across the arm, that's fine. Just create that shape. That's it, Lucy, no worries. Across the arm, that's fine, that's it. And then the other arm, we just see part of it. So it kind of comes out, and then we've got his glove there, and you can maybe see a little bit of his hand there, okay? He's looking very happy with himself, okay? Now here, we're gonna do maybe a couple of buttons, like so, okay? Lovely. Um, and then we are going to, now this M is contained within like a stripe. So around the edge of it, we're just gonna sort of try and get that into a stripe. We'll know that that's gonna be left white. Couple of lines just to kind of add a little bit of structure to our drawing. Okay. Probably a couple more spikes down the back, about here, okay, so to add some more spikes down the back, okay, like so. There we are done, and it's time for the colour. We're not quite finished yet, no, it's colouring in time. We're going to fast forward this section, but you can, uh, you can pause the video to match our colouring at any point you want. Um, so let's speed up. Guys, we would love to see your finished Sonic the Mario on an ant drawing. So please send them in to gallery at artrunbryson.co.uk and all the artwork we receive is going to appear in our special YouTube gallery show. See you soon.